Wow, 10 years ago I joined the cast of the pantomime at the Birmingham Hippodrome. Um, 10 years ago, where's that gone? I can't believe it, 10 years. Uh, the first one we did was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Uh, Michael Harrison said to me, the producer and director um, of Kudos Pantomimes at the time, now they're known as Crossroads. Michael came up to me and said, um, how do you fancy going to Birmingham? Um, and at the time, Birmingham Hippodrome was the flagship of pantomime. Everybody knew it was the the golden chalice or, or whatever you want to call it, the, the Las Vegas of pantomimes. Birmingham Hippodrome was the best one to, to, to do, to be at. So when he suggested I go to Birmingham, um, I was I was quite blown away, to be honest. And uh, yeah, it, it, it took my breath away because it, I thought, wow, that's, that's an incredible achievement and very um what's the word flattering i was very, i was really flattered so of course i said yes uh it was alongside my good friend paul zerdin ventriloquist um who was the the, the the main comic really and did the song sheet so i just i just uh, you know did what i did did what i was asked to do and thought thought um it's a good start you know so we had like i said myself paul zerdin uh we had some great people john partridge johnny partridge was the prince we had daniella hope playing snow white gary wilmot was the, my mum the dame uh, stephanie beecham the villain uh, and of course the brilliant gok Wan. um so what a cast what a lineup and i just thought wow this is incredible but i'd obviously done enough to impress the audience and the, um and I think they sort of said, yeah, that guy was all right. Yeah, yeah, we, we liked him. Well, who, what was his name? And then I came back again the following year, as did Paul Zerdin and Gary Wilmot. And we came back as a, like, a trio. And then we were joined by Duncan James, um, Chris Gascoigne, and Jay McDonald for Jack and the Beanstalk. Uh, which again was, was, was fantastic. So I did add a bit more to do this time. Um, put some impressions in, did this and that. And again, so it, it got a bit more, and that was a brilliant year. We had such a, such a good time. And then the third year was Aladdin. And that's when things got a bit different. I've talked about it before because I, I had a paralyzed vocal cord just before we were about to do the show. So during rehearsals, I, I, I had a voice that I was speaking on. So it was horrific. Um, so it was Aladdin, big cast, it was m myself, we had Julian Clary, who I, I adore and respect, um, it, it, the, I, you know, the highest respect for him. We had him, we had Marty Pello, I love Marty. Uh, and of course, for the first time, it was myself working with my mum, Andrew, Andrew Ryan, who is just an incredible dame. So after Aladdin, which, like I said, was a great, huge success, my voice came back, I had therapy, and thankfully, thank whoever, it came back. Um, um, we went into my year four, which was Dick Whittington. Uh, another brilliant show. I was working with my old mate, Steve McFadden. Phil, bleh, he was playing King Rat. We had a great cast. I had the support of uh, Andrew was back again as mum. We also had um, uh, the Crankies. Jeanette and Ian, who were, who were brilliant legends, you know, in, in my eyes. I grew up with them. So to work with them was something huge. So that element of comedy as well, which was a support for me, and vice versa, you know. Cinderella, that was another epic show. And I look at all these shows as a collection, by the way. You know, I'll get into that later on. But anyway, Cinderella, one of the best titles there is for pantomime, best story for, for myself, playing Buttons. It was, it was brilliant, some great... Um, Great cast, Susan Shaw, Cinderella, Danny Mack had just done Strictly. We did a big dance off thing. Uh, he was brilliant. What a good looking boy he is. And then of course we had Beverly Knight was our fairy godmother. And just, just to be stood on stage with Bev. She is something else, epic, brilliant. So that was a fantastic show. That's one of my favorite Cinderella, I have to say. Of course Cinderella there was the epic moment, which a lot of people, I don't think anybody will forget they will always remember the time where I happened to drop little Nicholas into the orchestra pit. There was a gasp of a, ah, what the hell has he done? And then laughter and realization that, oh, it's, it's all part. But uh, that was an iconic moment in theater. I've, 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 no one's ever done that before. I've never 
known a reaction like it or never will. It was incredible. So year six, Peter Pan, um, big, big um, responsibility after Cinderella was such a huge success. So a very different um, kind of uh, setup. We had a, a lot of um, cast from West End playing different parts, you know. Uh, and it was a great show again. That The following year, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, it was 120th birthday celebrations of the Hippodrome. Uh, brilliant show, once again from the London Palladium. We had the Snow White set, it was fantastic, big, extravagant. We had Joe McKeldry, uh, Faye Brooks, uh, Joe, Joe is the spirit, I love Joe, Joe's so good, what a voice. Um, Mum back again, we had Doreen this time. Doreen Tipton was introduced to the cast um, and what an addition Doreen was. Jill, I, I love her, she's just, I think her character Dor Doreen Tipton is genius um, and she's been with us ever since. Uh, and of course Andrew back again as mum um, and my old friend Leslie Joseph. Leslie is just, we call each other showbiz mother and son because we've worked together so much. We did so many pantos together. We did hot, uh, a musical called Hot Flush together. Uh, and I love her. End of. After, after Snow White, whilst we were doing Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, it was late January and we're all having such a great time. The show was such a, a, a huge success. And then came the news of COVID. And I remember us all at the time saying, well, what, what's this? Pandemic. And then the news hit and it got bigger and bigger and that was it. And then we all had our worlds up, uh, turned upside down. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, which was supposed to star myself uh, and Jason Donovan, was postponed. Anyway, moving to the following year, we get through COVID just, so we scraped by, we get, we get the show on the next year, which is what, 2021 now. Um, and it was a massive show. It was the, the London Palladium one again, Goldilocks Three Bears, lots of circus acts. It was a huge extravaganza. The show went great. Uh, by the end of the show, I stand there, dressed as Kylie Minogue, uh, and I make a speech. And I hadn't planned this speech. I didn't know what I was going to say. I didn't write anything down. I just let it come from here. So, so I, make, I make this speech. We got there. And I start saying thank you. <sighs> oh, I'm still getting choked now. So I say thank you. I say what I say. And I just wanted to say thank you for coming back to the theatre. Thank you for supporting Birmingham Hippodrome. Um, and for supporting theatre. All these people that work in the theatre. Thank you for coming back. And everyone seems to be in tears and everybody's clapped. And, uh, <clears throat> and stood up. For about, a, it's felt like for about a minute, they just clapped and stood. And it, it was incredible. It's incredibly hard talking about it now. Uh, to recall it, so you can imagine how hard it was at the time under those emotions, but it was a huge relief. Um, but I couldn't get over the love, the warmth. I, I don't think I'll ever experience anything like it again. But yeah, that was the time to be sincere and just to say thank you for the audience for coming back to us. So that year was epic. And then, of course, brings us up to date uh, with the most recent show. Again, we go back to Dick Whittington. So for me, it was it was brilliant because this was the year Michael said to me, why don't you play Dick Whittington? I'm like, what? I play the title. Do you know what? what? Me do the story. I'm the story. I'm the title role. And do so that's a lot. That's a big ask. And I thought, if ever there's a year to do it, yeah, let's do it. Which brings us up to this year, Jack of the Beanstalk. And that's the 10 years of Matt Slack at Birmingham Hippodrome Pantomime.